Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video. And today, um, I'm going to kind of talk about a lot of the problems with joined forces units and kind of a problem overall with Dokkan's, some of their categories, um, labeling for units. And I talked about this. I had a video that was called um, the top 10 things that need to be improved in Dokkan Battle. And this was one of them. But I figured like this particular, there's a particular couple of units in general that I think exemplify this problem. And um, I really wanted to point it out in this video and explain like why why it's an issue and how Dokkan has actually shot themselves in the foot with inconsistencies with their own rules. Okay, so joint forces are basically cards that have multiple characters on the same card and both characters are two or more characters names will be listed on the card. Now, what Dokkan has decided as their rule when determining the categories for these units is that. The categories can only be categories that all of the units on the card belong to. Um, this is a huge problem because it heavily restricts the categories on the cards and it makes them less useful. So we'll start off with a basic example and then we're going to lead up to like what I feel like is two, two of the most egregious um, violators of this and where Dokkan has actually like broken their own rule in a bad way. So... First, just basic example. Here's a newer card that came out on JP, but it's literally just a Goku and Piccolo card. Um, so they are both on the card, and if we look at the categories, they're only on full power, joint forces, movie heroes, and saviors. So what they're saying is, is that if this were a standalone Piccolo or a standalone Goku, they would have to be on full power. If it was a standalone Piccolo or Goku, they would have to be on movie heroes. If it was a standalone Piccolo or Goku, they would have to be on saviors. So there are big categories missing here, like, say, Namekians. The reason why we can't have Namekians is because Goku does not belong to Namekians. According to Dokkan's rule, if they put Namekians down here, it means both characters individually would have to be on that category. So it makes sense that they're not on Namekians. Now, that means they're also not on Pure Saiyans or Goku Family, which are some really basic teams that this Goku would be on, because Piccolo shares the card. Now, to me, this is a huge issue because on a lot of these joined forces cards, um, they will have characters that are very, very different from each other that don't share a lot of categories. Therefore, it heavily limits the categories of the actual unit. What I would prefer is that Dokkan were more lenient and said if it's a joined forces card, let them have all of the care categories of the units, um, even if just one of them is on it. So in my opinion, this card should be on Namekians, it should be on Pure Saiyans, it should be on Goku Family, it should be on all of that. And then this card is going to be a lot more useful and can be used on more teams. There's no point in restricting these because it's not like Joint Forces cards are more broken than other cards. In a lot of cases, Joint Forces cards are worse because they're limited on their categories. But there are individual cards like, I don't know, LRSTR Broly and AGL UI Goku who are like some of the best units in the game and they have tons of great categories. Um, so what's the point of limiting a unit that is worse than them? You know, I don't really get the point of that. Okay. So in any case, this card is just a good basic example of the rule that Dokkan has set, right? So it should be clear right now. Um, if either of the units on a joint forces card does not belong to that category, then the joint card combined cannot have that category. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's look at some other examples. Okay. Here are some examples where this rule ruins some cards with some heavy potential. So we have this Boo and Bobbity Prime Battle card. And then we also have this uh, Bobbity and Deborah um, Battlefield card, right? These cards are actually really, really good. The problem is, is because they both contain Bobbity, Bobbity himself is not on Majin Power, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. The technical definition, so if we look at categories down here, no Majin Power. So what makes this ridiculous is that I, I think the technical definition of Majin Power is people who are under Bobbity's control or are under that Majin, so like characters like with the M logo on their head that have that Majin power in them. But yet Majin Vegeta, I don't think is considered Majin power, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I think they just messed up the Majin power like completely. Like to me, Majin power should be any character taken over by Bobbity and then like Bobbity himself. Because he obviously has Majin power within him. Like that's what he's all about. So 
Anyways, if we look at, say, this card here, Fat Boo is on Majin Power, but since Bobbity isn't, this entire card can't be. So it's kind of wonky because these two LRs are actually really good units, but the team you'd want to use them on would be like um, the LR Tanks team, where it would be Majin Power or Power Absorption. Now, Bobbity obviously shouldn't be on Power Absorption, so I guess that makes sense. But like... If they were on Majin Power, then we could run this guy, and we could run this guy with them. And this guy's actually a really good support. And this is the other thing that Dokkan does that drives me crazy. He supports a category that he's not on. So he's a Majin Power support, but he's not on the category. Like, that that drives me crazy. Why, why do that? That is so stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> if, we, if they fix the problem... And just said, yeah, if either unit is on it, then the joined unit can be on it. So then if Deburra were on Majin Power, then this card could be on Majin Power. If the Fat Boo is on Majin Power, then they could. So what they want you to do is they all share Majin Boo Saga, which is great. The problem is, is the Boo Saga leaders are super class Saiyans that don't link with these guys. So like you don't want to actually run them on a Majin Boo Saga team. So one way they could fix it, obviously, is if they make like a new Boo unit, like maybe there's an LR Kid Boo and he's a Majin Boo Saga leader. Fantastic. The problem is solved or whatever. But you shouldn't have to do that. Like th these are cards that obviously are meant to be used with the Boo units and you can't use them on the Boo unit team. It is absolutely ridiculous to me. So that's that's a pretty big problem to me right there. Um, now we're going to get into some where I feel like Dokkan is kind of not being consistent to their own rule. And they're actually breaking the rules because some cards are so limited by the joint forces that like they have to think of categories they can give them. And then it kind of forces them to break their own rule, which drives me crazy. So here we have a Vegeta and Bulma card, and it's a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Now this card would be a really great addition to the Super Saiyan 2 team. Unfortunately, Bulma is not a Super Saiyan 2, so it can't be on that category, right? So if we look, they're on Joint Forces, Vegeta's Family, and Exploding Rage. Now, according to this rule, both characters have to be on that category. So the part that I'm a little confused about, this is Bulma getting slapped by Beerus. So Bulma just slapped by Beerus. If this were an individual card, you're telling me that Bulma is an Exploding Rage unit? Um... There are plenty of other Dragon Ball characters that have shown rage that even have like rage in their names and they're not on exploding range. So you're saying that this Bulma from her birthday party is more exploding range than some of these other Saiyans and stuff like that and that she's an exploding rage unit. Now obviously their intention with this card it is like about Vegeta's rage, right? He's mad that Bulma got hit and he has a rage mechanic. So obviously they want to put him on Exploding Rage, but then they kind of have to break their own rule. I mean, yeah, Bulma gets upset at people and, like, she yells and stuff, but is she ever, like, Exploding Rage? Like, I don't know that Bulma would ever classify as Exploding Rage. I'm sorry. Um, exploding Rage is, like, a big deal, right? It's like when someone you know, like, dies or gets hurt or uh, somebody's killing a bunch of innocent people and it's building the rage inside you, right? But... Bulma getting mad because, what, Beerus is hogging the pudding? That's exploding rage. Really, exploding rage. So what I want to see, Dokkan, go ahead, release this Bulma as a standalone card, and I want to see her on exploding rage. Okay, let's see it. So to me, this is an instant. Now, this one is debatable, right? Because people could argue Bulma gets mad, she's kind of bitchy or whatever. Sure, if you want to say she's exploding rage, that's fine. Let's look at a, a much more egregious, and this is the one I pointed out in my first video um, when I was going over things that need to be improved in Dokkan. Um, these two cards right here. So the first card I'm going to talk about is this Broly and Paragus card. Okay? Um, they're a great pure Saiyan card. The issue I have with them, if we look at the categories here, they only have pure Saiyans and joined forces. And they're a 40% attack and defense support. They're really good. They get an attack buff when there's a pure Saiyans enemy, which is going to be most of the time. So it's actually like a very good, uh, formidable support unit. And you'd be great to throw with other Broly, Broly units, right? The problem is, he's not on movie bosses. And their logic behind that is that Paragus is not a movie boss. Which, to me, uh, Paragus is the guy kind of controlling Broly, kind of antagonizing him to attack the Saiyans. He's the one that is 
out for revenge. Oh, by the way, not on the revenge category. Really, Broly and Paragus aren't out for revenge. They're not. They're not at least a little bit ticked off that King Vegeta outcast both of them and basically sent them off to die on a, a deserted planet. Neither of them have any built up uh, revenge for that. Okay. Sounds good. Um, that's a pretty common complaint with this card, right? I, I think they should be on revenge 100%. I actually looked at like a standalone Paragus, and even standalone Paragus wasn't on revenge. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. But anyways, my big issue is movie bosses. So according to Dokkan, we know Broly's a movie boss, but they're saying that standalone Paragus should not be a movie boss, even though I feel like he should qualify as a movie boss because without Paragus, the movie doesn't happen. The villainy doesn't happen. Like, none of it happens. Like, Broly, or Paragus to me is just as much the movie boss here as Broly is. So, anyways, that causes a big issue here. But here, we're going to get into where Dokkan's going to shoot them in the foot, and they're going to break their own rules, and they are going to have a, a pretty terrible movie boss situation, which is this unit right here. Uh, let me just see here for a second. There, scroll down. Sorry, we're lagging a little bit here. All right. <laughs> Our friend. Our buddy, our pal, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. Okay. This is a card that people praise as being actually a really fun, unique card, but the complaint is is they don't have enough categories. They only get movie bosses and join forces. Here's where Dokkan makes things very difficult for themselves because their rule is any unit on the join forces card has to be on a shared category with the others for it to get the category. So Broly would have a ton of great categories like pure Saiyans, like maybe exploding rage, things like that, right? But Chilai would not fit into pure Saiyans, you know, Lemo doesn't fit into pure Saiyans, so they lose all these categories. Now this is kind of like the Vegeta and Bulma card. This is much worse though. Like this is blatantly like you can't argue against this. Um they they literally have no categories they share other than joint forces. So they're like, well we've got to give them something. So let's give them movie bosses. So what Dokkan is telling me, by their logic, that Chilai is a movie boss. So they're going to come out at some point a standalone Chilai card, and I need to see her on movie bosses. Otherwise, Dokkan broke their own rule for this card. And if they broke their own rule for this card, why can't they slightly break the rule for, say, I don't know, a Majin Power Bobbity card that's joined with a, a, a Boo? I mean... To me, that makes more sense. I'd rather them break the rule for that than this, right? By the way, you know, we've got... People are talking about a big movie celebration coming up, right? Let's get a farmable Lemo card. I want to see him on movie bosses. Do you guys think Lemo's a movie boss? Do you think Chilai's a movie boss? I don't know. I guess it's iffy, right? Chilai, the main boss? Lemo, the main boss? Answer this question for me. Who deserves to be a movie boss more? Lemo, Chilai, or Paragus? Well, Paragus definitely isn't a movie boss. So it's Dokkan apparently thinks that Lemo is more of a movie boss than Paragus. And Chilai is more of a movie boss than Paragus. I think my point is pretty strong here. I think I have a fairly strong argument. Um, so you know how Dokkan fixes all of this? On Joint Forces cards, they make an adjustment, and they say any category belonging to any unit on the card, it just gets that category. Because then we don't have crap like this happening, where <laughs> we are just magically giving Lemo and Chilai the movie boss category. To me, <laughs> Chilai and Lemo, actually this is what's funny, Chilai and Lemo to me are more super units than even extreme units. They're they're like good guys in the movie. And technically this Broly that's hanging out with them, I think he's super class too. I think this card should actually be super class. And then to think that movie bosses is like their main category that you're going to use them on, it's actually kind of ridiculous. So anyways, guys, let me know if you agree or disagree. I mean, if you want to post in the comments that uh, Chilai greater than Paragus for movie boss, go ahead. That would be fantastic. I would love to see it. We need to start a meme. Lemo greater than Paragus for movie boss. Let's do it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you all on the next one.